Dumbo gets the goal. And the Red Wings are back in it. However, Canadians moving up. Cordic center, McVee. Oh, and a nice save by Hannah. They score. Yes. They don't okay. like it. The Red Wings are saying, we go. oh, it should not be a goal. And look what's happened now. But the referee has said, yes, it's a goal. And Cordic and Colbert have dropped the gloves. And they want everybody to move back. They just might go. And the linesmen are getting a standing boo here for getting in front of both those fellows. I think that was a very slow whistle that Glenn Hanlon had the puck covered. But it doesn't make much difference what I think. Paul Stewart didn't, and he pointed right into the net. And I think you'll see that goal count. Well, Bob Probert, the league's most penalized players, being pushed over to a familiar spot, the penalty box, and so is John Cordick. But it was Brian Scrudlin who Probert first became upset with it was Cordick who piled into the goal crease, and of course, that always starts something. And we have a punchless penalty situation here. Nobody touched anybody, but they're gone. Cordick and Probert. And suddenly things came alive in that way, but after the Canadians came right back following the Zombo goal and the pileup, and the delayed whistle, as Harry says, puck disappeared for a while. Now let's take a look at it. Hanlon's got that puck. Strudlin hit it right out of his glove when it was under it. The referee should have blown the whistle, in my opinion, on that one. And there's the trouble. Probert runs Strudlin into the net. Hanlon's got it right now. Or has he? It's Cordick. Cordick gets the goal. He's the one who plow plows in. And there's when the fun starts. Net comes off the moorings. The Red Wings are arguing the point. But you're right, Harry, because Stewart, his first, you always look at the referee at a time like that, and he pointed right into the net. That's a goal, and here they are at center ice waiting to face off. And there's the guy who got it, his second goal. 4-2, Canadians. Well, when you go to the net with enthusiasm on a regular basis, good things happen to you, and there is a great example there of not a pretty one, but it looks good on the scoreboard if you're a Montreal fan. 